What's up guys, it's your boys, and we'll keep back out with another Nukes Top 5 Scary Ghost video. I am super excited. This is like Christmas for me every single day, or every single week, waiting for Nuke to drop a new video. Nuke is like the the number one top th of my top three, and I'm super excited about it because we're going to be watching top 10 ghost videos that scream at you from your nightmares. So what I want you guys to do is grab a chair, grab some popcorn, because you and I are going to be watching this together, and my reactions are on Scares with Wokey, and hopefully we won't fill our pants, but let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting the red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon next to it, so I do post a video like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that Spokey myself has posted that video. You guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so much that for the people that are supporting this channel we are growing at a ridiculous rapid pace i mean literally i've looked at the numbers and we are growing like 50 to 60 subscribers in like two to three days it's ridiculous you guys are amazing keep telling your friends and telling your family and with that being said we're gonna get into nukes top five also make sure you guys go over to nuke himself and subscribe and show your love over to his channel he puts his videos for or puts these videos together for us to enjoy and get scared and definitely I want to see him grow as well. So, you also guys are probably wondering why my voice sounds like this. Well, apparently I'm sick and I got some or a scratchy voice. And I would just want to let you guys know my voice will eventually return. But because I'm sick, it's going in and out like a 15-year-old uh, boy on puberty. But <laughs> let's take a look at this video and see if it scares the living dog crap out of this. Usually Nukes Top 5 videos do that. So, let's take a look. I'm so excited. Captain Ghosts caught on camera. Yes, please. Project Paranormal. Uh. Paranormal investigator Dave Jones from the YouTube channel Project Paranormal sent me an email about a video he received from a friend. Dave's friend says that he's been experiencing disturbing paranormal activity in his historic home in Michigan. Interesting. A house that was once used as a funeral home. The man says that at all hours of the day and night, he hears the sounds of conversations, footsteps, and even the front door opening and closing oh, on its hell own. hell no, even locked. In an attempt to capture some kind of evidence of the strange events, he sets up a camera in his living room and leaves to go to work. When he comes home and checks his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa. That's creepy. That's suspicious. A creepy shadow-like figure can be seen walking through the living room and behind the couch. Dave and his friend believe the apparition to be a visible manifestation of the spirit that haunts the home. Whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be a normal shadow. Because as you can see, it clearly passes behind the couch. Yeah. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I'm sold. It's real. You can watch this video over on Dave's YouTube channel, Project Paranormal. I'll definitely take a chuck to look at Pat. Hey, get out of here, man. <laughs> Marissa Whitehead and her boyfriend are spending the night at the Cumberland Inn in Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh. When suddenly, out of the corner of her eye, Marissa spots something odd moving in the bathroom. She takes out her phone and starts to record. Could that be like the vacuum pressure? Marissa says they checked the ceiling, but nobody was up there. And besides that, this flimsy drop ceiling would be too weak to support the weight of even the smallest person. Yeah. But you do have to admire the ghost vanquishing technique of Marissa's boyfriend. Ah! Holy hey, got you, man. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I'm hoping Pass one day I can through. do that. W. Wahid posted a video of his nephew playing Aww. in his new light up rabbit hat at their home in Indonesia. I remember this. But he caught something else that he wasn't expecting. Something downright chilling. I remember this on Chills's. A 
strange misshapen dark figure seems to run by in the background. It gets me every time. Now, some commenters suggested that it could simply be another small child running past the door. But that just doesn't look like a child to no. me. No. And the kid would also have to be running along at about the speed of an Olympic sprinter. Nuke, what are you doing? So that looks even creepier. Is an odd shadow creature in their home? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? If that's a hoax, you that's decide. a dang good hoax, man. What they do in the shadows. Popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back with another yes. exploration of an extremely haunted location in China. A house that has been abandoned for over 20 years. This mysterious house is very different from the other local buildings around it, as it looks like something right out of a medieval fairy tale. All that is known about the large estate is that the last owner was a very wealthy man whose life was taken under very strange and tragic circumstances. The house never sold, as many bizarre rumors began to circulate that the home was cursed. Locals began to refer to the estate as, quote, the haunted house. So, Xiaolong sets out to investigate whether the building is truly haunted or if it's all just local legend that started up because of the house's odd appearance. As always, Xiaolong broadcasts his exploration live to his Chinese livestream audience. I love Xiaolong. Xiaolong heads inside and immediately discovers that the odd interior of the house matches the extravagant outside. And the ghost hunter gets a little creeped out by the decor. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> now Xiaolong begins to ask some questions directed at any spirits that might inhabit the house. But not in Chinese. Who are you? I'm here. Yeah, I'm a high buyer. Oh I've my god. I've have I've never heard Xiaolong speak English. What the hell? Oh my god. What are you doing? What am I you like your soul? You're shining on the Gui Wood again, you're all in there. I like his voice. I'm gonna go right on Gui Wood again, you're Chinese. What's holy mother's hour now? He says that all the time. It's a sorry, sir. It's holy mom. I'm hitting it. After Xiaolong asks a few questions in English, a window begins to oddly shake and vibrate on its own. The ghost hunter points out that the leaves behind the window don't move, eliminating the possibility that it might have been wind or a draft. Then Xiaolong hears something coming from downstairs, and uh -oh. things take a terrifying turn. Sure. Don't run up the stairs, please. Uh. 
Sí. Oh. What? What's <laughs> up? Those don't do that. Two folding trestles move on their own. They almost appear to be walking. And so, Shalom runs over and kicks the shit out of them. Ow. As you do when trestles start walking about. <laughs> anyway. Xiaolong runs outside and takes a break to gather his courage. He then returns and continues to explore. On the second floor, he looks through a window and sees a car parked outside nearby. Xiaolong becomes concerned that the locals might have alerted someone about the ghost hunter's secret visit to the house. Uh oh. He doesn't know it yet, but that is about to be the least of his worries. Uh oh. Because what happens next is downright chilling. I saw a figure. What the? That was a figure. shadowy figure can be seen standing at the window in the next room. He quickly runs over, but there's no one there. There's no one there. Shocked by what he's just witnessed, he once again runs outside. But he isn't done just yet. He finds that whoever had parked their car and was snooping around has left. So he heads back inside to investigate Man, once again. So long and it got did some not balls. go well. What is that? It's not there no more. My own. As Xiaolong looks into a mirror, he sees someone or something standing behind him. But when he turns around, no one there. Whoever or whatever he saw standing behind him in the mirror has disappeared in a split second. So just what did Xiaolong capture live on camera? Oh, hell Are the local no. stories true? Is the mysterious home really haunted? Let me know what you think. You can find this video and many more of Xiaolong's explorations with English subtitles over on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. I've watched some of this through stuff. Through the it's Looking good. Glass. TikTok user Kaylin Moore from Los Angeles, California claims that an old mirror in her home sometimes shows things that just aren't there. And if you guys didn't know, uh, if you put mirrors next to each other, it makes a vortex. And usually people do believe, I, I definitely heard it as well, that mirrors are somewhat of a portal for ghosts to reside in. So I don't know what, what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think that is true. If mirrors are a vessel for ghosts to live in or if putting them back to back, having them look at each other is making a vortex to make it stronger for ghosts. So let's see what she has to do with a mirror. So this is an old mirror that I upcycled and I, I swear think I've that seen sometimes this. you can see stuff in the background of the look, mirror that isn't actually there in real look life. Look at the couch. So I'm just going to do a couple back and forths, but I'm curious to see if anyone sees anything that maybe I didn't Woman, do you not see that in the couch? Here we go. Here's the mirror. Oh, hell no. Okay, so that's <laughs> the background. Can watch the couch. Ah! It's so crystal clear on nukes. No! Oh! Once again, my apartment. Does she not see this? All right, comment if you see anything. How does she so not place. see that on the couch? Did you see it? Yeah. As Kaylin's looking in the mirror, something can be seen sitting on the couch right behind her. But when she turns around, it's gone. 
Whatever it is, it seems to only be visible in the mirror. Now, whether it's real or just another elaborate TikTok hoax, if it's a hoax, as always, I leave it up to you yes. to decide. Tell me what you guys That's think about that not one. A cow. Nuke's top five viewer Rodriguez sent in a video that he recorded in the woods near his home in Texas. In the video, he explains that he and his cousin have made a quote base near the woods and he's attempting to show it off on camera. What happens next is truly bizarre. Ford. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my cool base that I made a while ago with my cousin. It's really nice. See, we got the entrance all fenced off. Got this thing, I don't know what it is. Well, that stinks. But yeah, we got some chairs. What was that? Is that a cow? What is that? Where? Oh, for what the? <laughs> A weird white humanoid figure comes crawling out of the woods and charges towards him on what appears to be freakishly long arms and legs. Now is the video real? Is it a hoax? You decide. But That's not this a cow. video does have one of the best lines I've ever heard when someone encounters something paranormal. Is that a cow? Is that a cow? Oh freak! Hell no, bro. It was not a cow. <laughs> Observed. That was not a cow. Urban Explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hills sets out to explore the abandoned Warner and Swayze awesome. Observatory in Cleveland, Ohio. Love Urbex Hill too. The impressive structure was built in the early 1900s and served as an astronomical research wow. facility until it was abandoned in 1982. Wow. As always, Chris records his explorations to capture what's left of the historical architecture before it's too late. Wow. However, this time, that's not all that he captures. Watch uh, closely as Chris randomly films around the outside of the observatory building. Did you see it? No. Someone or something seems to be watching Chris from the bushes before seemingly disappearing into oh, the Oh, I didn't air. see that. Chris doesn't even notice and has no idea what he just recorded. But later, after he posts the video, his viewers point it out in the YouTube comments. So who or what is this? How did he not hear it? Let me know what you think. It's gotta be something. You can watch even more explorations of amazing historic abandoned buildings over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. That's good. Back to the factory. A while ago, I featured the extremely frightening videos of Ghost Hunter ILM and Bono Paranormal. I remember that one. captured alleged supernatural evidence at an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. Over 60 years ago, the factory was forced to shut down after a devastating explosion claimed the lives of many of the workers. It is said that the building is extremely haunted by the restless spirits of those workers. After Bono experienced multiple terrifying events at the factory, he had had enough for a while, and he decided just to take a break. Good. But a few months have passed and the explorer is finally ready to return to the creepy old building. No. <laughs> and things get weird. Uh oh. Almost immediately after Bono enters the factory, strange things start to happen. Anything changed in here? No. I just. <laughs> I probably stepped in a spider web that oh. freaked the shit out of me. Yeah, I stepped in this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was the scariest thing. Or it maybe wasn't. Yeah. Bono is a bit freaked out when he accidentally walks through a spider web. 
Then he hears a loud bang coming from somewhere in the building and goes to investigate. What is that? You see that mist? No way. The explorer sees something out of the corner of his eye, and as he turns, an unexplained cloud of smoke can be seen floating through the air. Bono has no idea what he has just witnessed, but he continues to explore. What happens next is truly bizarre. Uh-oh. I didn't upload for like five, six months, and you like really oh, is get the, the door? video to 1K, even though I didn't upload for half a year. So, thank you. And so yeah, I now want to go in, uh, in the room with the chair, probably because I want to communicate with them and I think that room is good for communication. Plus I have my camera on that. Hello? Ah! Oh! What was that? I saw that. They walked Did you in that see room. It? Yeah. Bono see right there. talking to his viewers and isn't paying attention when in the back of one of the rooms, I knew it. seems to quickly hide behind a closet. Bono walks away but quickly turns back when a loud sound can be heard from the room. Watch the left he decides room. to set up two static GoPro cameras and begins to ask questions to the spirits that might be Sorry for interrupting, guys, but did you see in the middle room? Did you see that shadow that walked in that room? The second one? I I, I'm, I don't think I'm seeing things. I think I saw something. It was like, right. Let me bring it up. Right in this door. You see that door in the middle there? Watch it. You see that? I saw like this shadow blob move. Did you see it? Bono was talking to his viewers and isn't paying attention when in the back of one of the rooms, something seems to quickly hide behind a closet. Bono walks away but quickly turns back when a loud sound can be heard from the room. He decides to set up two static GoPro cameras and begins to ask questions to the spirits that might be haunting the factory. That's when the unexplained activity takes a terrifying turn. Yeah, he jumped. I jumped. Come from. Where the f did that came from? This door is closed. You have got to be kidding me. This thing. I don't know if you can see it. Another cup. First, a glass seems to be thrown at a wall near Bono. Then, a cup is flung across the room. Now, the explorer is starting to freak out from the aggressive paranormal activity. I'm freaking he out. He holds it together and continues his investigation. <coughs> he heads to another room inside the abandoned factory and sets up another static GoPro camera. Again, he hears a strange noise coming from somewhere nearby. So, we're in this room. Just so it's almost stand there. Just so it's pointing. Hello? Yeah, I blocked this so it won't fall. scared of this. Hello? I heard sounds from here. I swear. Hello? No. A 
heavy closet falls over completely on its own. And with that, Bono has finally had enough and decides to just get out of there. So could the factory be haunted by the restless spirits of the workers who tragically lost their lives Bro. there? I leave it up to you to decide. There's some creepy stuff going there. You can watch there. all of Bono's explorations at the Haunted Factory over on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal. Hell no. Many moons ago, YouTube and TikTok user Joel Vasquez from San Antonio, Texas claims that late one night at around 3.40 a.m., he saw something very odd. Bro, y'all missed this. Is like that eclipse? 40 in the morning, and I'm seeing a badass eclipse, man. Y'all uh -oh. missed that. Sh That's cool. Ooh, man, this crazy. Man, y'all missed that guy. Which is weird, though, because there's like a moon over here. That's why I thought it was weird, but I was like, whatever. There's two of them. So I'm honestly not sure what to think of this video, and Joel's YouTube viewers are divided. Some appreciate the funny commentary, and others believe that Joel has witnessed everything from an alien spaceship to an interdimensional portal. Some even claim to have seen the exact same phenomenon in San Antonio and other cities across the Texas. Hell? So is it real, or just a funny and well done hoax? You decide. I don't know. Crazy. Weird, Tell me like down below. There's two of them. <laughs> There's two of them. Secret farm. The Dutch urban explorer Mark from the YouTube channel Mark Benick is on the road with his friend Luke when they discover a completely abandoned old farmhouse in the countryside of Belgium. Inside the home, the two friends find many old photos and portraits of the previous owners. Wow. And they discover extensive financial records dating back to the 1970s that have just been left behind. Mark and Luke have no idea why someone abandoned the house and so many personal belongings. After they've explored the property, Mark uploads his recorded footage to his YouTube channel. And some viewers are quick to point out something that Mark and Luke just didn't notice. As the explorers theirs? try to find a way through the bushes surrounding the property, Mark records something truly disturbing. We are here from the inside, let us go from another way. And we are also very close to the inside. That is also here, there is an entrance to the en hier is een ingang. Snel gaan we aan de zijkant van dit kapelletje de bosjes in, zodat we volledig uitzicht zijn. En daar moet een heel groot oh, is that 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 Did you see it? Yeah, him. As Mark and Luke are maneuvering their way through the dense bushes surrounding the property, someone or something can be seen peeking out at them from behind a wall. Uh, how? Mark and Luke didn't see anything at the time and only discovered this creepy lurker after the video was uploaded to YouTube. So just who or what is this? A squatter? You can watch this full adventure and many more urban explorations over on the YouTube channel, Mark Ben Ick. Thanks for watching for extra videos and other stuff. Please check out my Instagram here, my Twitter here, and then Tic Tac. Tic Tac. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Yes. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and video of Nukes Top 5. I definitely enjoyed it. The Shalong, Urbex Hill, definitely love all of the stuff that Nuke puts in his videos. If you guys liked his videos, make sure you guys comment down below what you guys thought of each and every one. If you guys thought that they were real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever you have you, I love reading you guys' comments. I literally comment on every single one. So make sure you guys do so down below. Like the video if you guys like Nukes Top 5, my channel. And just overall creepy stuff helps out the channel immensely. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep learning on. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.